Hey everyone, it is Tuesday, December 13th, and the time is 1.25 in the afternoon, and the temperature right now is around minus one degree Celsius. And I am here in a park, which I am not sure of its name, but this is just north of Danforth Avenue. And this would be a laneway. And where I'm walking now is actually over top line two of the subway. They built it using a cut and cover method. So back in the early 60s, a lot of homes along this line here were expropriated and cleared out to make way for the subway. So now you have this long line of parks and parking lots pretty much starting at Broadview Station. Running east-west for much of Danforth Avenue, or much of the stretch north of Danforth. And I believe this street here is Langford. And this is the very northeast end of Riverdale. And for this one, I'm gonna head down to Danforth Avenue and then I'm gonna walk over to Jones Avenue. And then I think I'll head south down to Dundas Street East. And then from there, I'll walk west over to Broadview. So this one will take me from Riverside into Leslieville and then back into Riverside again. And as you can tell, the sidewalks are a bit icy. We had a snowfall a couple of days ago. That sign says, thank you for visiting, as this is where Greek Town comes to an end. And this is the north end of Jones Avenue. And from here on, it's going to be mostly residential. Looks like I have a walk sign. And there's a look to the west along Danforth. All right, so let's head south down the east side of Jones Avenue. And I think this is just my third time recording this stretch of Jones. Curious as to what this door is across the street. Oh, the glare from the sun was getting in my eyes. Looks like a barber shop. And the neighborhood on the left is known as the Pocket. And I remember doing an e-scooter ride through there at some point. and say protest August 1st that was quite a while ago
Looks like a house that was converted into a church, or maybe it was purpose-built as a church. And this was probably a retail storefront at some point. Same goes for this one. This whole area really does kind of feel like it's stuck in time. That's not necessarily a bad thing, just given the state of development in the city. There's not much in the way of new developments. And on the right here is the Jones Avenue Adult School. That was damaged by a fire back in 2019. And it was supposed to reopen in 2022. But something tells me it never did reopen. Learn English Adult ESL. They've certainly put a ton of salt down on the sidewalk already. So Jones Avenue terminates to the south at Queen Street East. Although I won't be making it all the way down to Queen Street on this one. That is Strathcona Avenue. That looks like a convenience store, and it is, but the name is New Resources Trading Company. That's a bit odd. I think they have changed names somewhat recently. There's a laundromat. All right, so there's a lady waiting for the bus back there. Let's see if we can catch the bus going by at some point. And coming up on the right should be the oldest Jewish cemetery in the city. There it is, protected by barbed wire. I don't really have any more info on it than that. All right, here's the variety store. I was thinking of Jones Variety. And I was looking at that other one. Man, this is a really nice old home. Most of the homes here would be post-World War I.
and that'll lead you into the pocket and it says no access to Greenwood Avenue which is the next major street to the east of here and I think that's why it has the name the pocket as there's very few roads that lead in and out of that neighborhood there goes someone on a bike And there are some rail tracks up ahead. Once I get south of those, I'll be in the Leslieville neighborhood. And this is Hunter Street. Oh, that is pretty curious. I almost didn't notice it. I'm guessing someone has on-street parking. There's probably a tag on their windshield. And I guess parking enforcement would have to clear that off. If it weren't for the few modern touches, such as some of these cars, you'd be hard pressed to guess what year it is. I think this leads into a very interesting laneway house, actually. I remember walking around behind it at some point. You notice the house doesn't front Jones Avenue directly, but rather it backs onto a laneway. Turtles. <laughs> no, it's the hydro chambers. How far down does it go? Uh, this one's not that deep, but some downtown are like pretty crazy. Once right. the power of the CN Tower, like yeah. maybe 25 feet deep. Oh, geez. <laughs> Stay safe down there. There's a French school. Imagine going 25 feet deep down into a manhole. So there is a French school and across the street is a public school. I think that's Blake Public School. And once I cross under these rail tracks, I'll be in Leslieville. Oh. 
And there's a northbound Jones Avenue bus. I don't think I've ever taken that one. And that is going north up to the Donlin station. I don't think it's all that frequent. I don't recall seeing that southbound bus come by yet. When I woke up this morning, it said it was minus seven. And I thought we might be in for a particularly cold one, but it has warmed up considerably. There's an interesting hodgepodge of differently designed homes. I wondered what that loud noise was. I thought it was gonna be a car coming, racing through, but that is a go train. So coming up is Gerard Street East. And I think I'll be going for a walk along this pretty soon. Probably from Coxwell in Little India. And I'll head on over to East Chinatown. It's been a while since I've been out that way. Greek Orthodox Church. And this is the Riverdale Collegiate Institute. It's a very large non-semestered high school that opened up back in 1907. I'm going to take my glove off here. I'm holding the camera with, not holding, well, I guess I'm holding the camera with my glove. My hand just happened to be in the glove. Bubble tea, dim sum, Chinese food, coming soon. And it looks like the pizza pizza that was on the corner here didn't make it. I imagine they would have relied on a pretty heavy crowd coming over for lunchtime from that school. There's a look over at the rest of Riverdale Collegiate. This is actually a busy little area here. And Gerard Square, complete with a Walmart and Home Depot are just up ahead. So next stop is Dundas Street, and I'll be making a right. And I think that'll be roughly the halfway point of this one.
and apparently we're in for a pretty big snowstorm on Thursday. I heard that there could be up to 20 to 30 centimeters of snow. The last one was just a couple of centimeters. I guess if you're into residential architecture, this would be a rather fascinating stroll. On the left here, I think, is an old church that's been converted into lofts. And I think it might be connected to this development here, 169. It kind of loosely mirrors the shape of the church. And this is Dagmar Avenue coming up. All right, and I've made it to Dundas Street East. There's a public library on the southwest corner over there. And this stretch of Dundas is rather interesting. As you'll notice, it's lined by a lot of garages. And this part of the street actually used to just be a couple of different laneways that ran off of Jones Avenue. You can see it's the backside of some homes over there, which is a bit unusual for a relatively major street. There was a street coming up called Bolton. I don't quite remember exactly where it is, but that is where Dundas Street originally came to an end. And then at some point, I think in the 40s or 50s, it was extended eastward. I don't remember seeing another southbound Jones Avenue bus. Or even a first one to begin with. And once again, we are at Dagmar Avenue. So this must curl back up and over to Jones. So 
but there is no streetcar that runs along the stretch of Dundas. The Dundas streetcar only goes as far as Broadview. And it heads north up to Broadview Station. So the next major intersection in this direction should be Carlaw. Um, that's an old industrial hub. I think the homes here date back to a similar time period as the ones on Jones. They certainly look similar. Well, I said the next major intersection was Carla, but depending where you are, Pape is either a main arterial street or it's kind of a quiet residential street. For the most part, south of Danforth, it's more of a quiet residential street. Uh, north of Danforth, you'll find Danforth Village and a pretty built up retail area. It's also pedestrian only for a stretch, right around Gerard Square Mall. That is Boston Avenue. Is that the street I had in my head where it extended east from? I thought it was Bolton. I'll keep an eye out and see if that street pops up. And there you can see way off in the distance is the financial district. Rose Theater. And here we are at Carla. So just north of here at Girard, we'll eventually be in Ontario Line subway station. This looks a bit slippery. going to cross over to the south side. A 
There's a lot of old factories and warehouses and that sort of thing on Carla here. Many of which have been converted into lofts. Law Creative Loft, it's sent on that one window. I wonder if these are live and work units. If you know, let me, uh, let me know down in the comments. been on that wall for quite a while. And this is Logan Avenue. And these rail tracks kind of cut diagonally through the area. Once I cross underneath them, I will be once again back in Riverside, or rather Riverdale. Riverside is to the south of here along Queen Street. is Bruce Mackey Park on the left. And you could follow this down to Queen Street. It'll wrap around a little bit. And I think the next street will be Degrassi. There goes the GO train. Next stop, Union Station.
So the street coming up is famous for being the setting of the original Kids of Degrassi Street, which was an old CBC show that ran from the late 70s, I think 79 through 1986. There's been several iterations of the show since then. That was the one that started it all. I remember watching that as a kid. Although on the show they spelled Degrassi as all one word. So this is Bolton Avenue. I didn't think it was this quite far along, but up into the 40s or 50s at some point, this is as far east as Dundas Street got. And then it was extended east of here. And this is thatdog.com playcare walking and boarding. Seems to be fans of England and Chelsea and the Leafs and Raptors. And on the left, you have a public school whose name is obscured by that tree, Dundas Street Public School. That's right next to an alternative public school. That would be the Seed School, I believe. And there's a third school squeezed in that property. Which is Queen Alexandra Middle School. I'm struggling to <laughs> remember things on this one. And although this is not a protected bike lane, I'll notice there's a double line to give a little bit of an extra barrier there. Alright, so I have two options to get back from this intersection. I could grab a northbound King or Dundas streetcar up to Broadview, or I could grab a westbound streetcar. And I could take that over to Young and Dundas. Let's see if I can visually spot any as I get there. And if I were to continue west on Dundas Street, that'll take me over the Don River and a few blocks in into downtown. There's the streetcar. It's my lucky day.
All right, so I hope you enjoyed this one. Next stop, Mount Stephen Street. Starting up at Danforth, heading south down Jones Avenue. To Dundas, then over to Broadview. Let me know your thoughts and comments down below, and if you wish to support the channel, there's links to my Patreon and YouTube Next channel membership in the description. Gerard Street East. And I have an Instagram account at Johnny Strides. I also have a TikTok account there. As we are in East Chinatown. Please look right for traffic when exiting. All right, <laughs> thank you for watching, and I will catch you in the next one. Yoink.